Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOMaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. It is a snowy Monday Tell here me. in the Washington, D.C. area. Oh, and look who's here to discuss that. Hi, hey, here. how are you? Hi, Non. Hey, bleh, 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 bleh. Hi, how are you? You know, something weird happened this weekend. Slate gray skies spewing snowflakes all over the Washington, D.C. area. Wowzy, woo-woo. There was, a, there was some light talk. Quite a surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> Wait, there was as much to you as us? Yes, sir. <laughs> light talk of snow, but I did not expect it when I woke up and found three inches of snow in Leesburg for once, Non. Oh, three inches where you are inches in other ways, uh, dusting and certain areas and up to a foot in other areas. What about the snow versus the on the grass versus the pavement? Not sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but boy, isn't it beautiful? It's you pretty on some of the trees, it. and it's a wet, heavy snow. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, now, I don't know. Now, non-committal, doesn't that, uh, the fact that there's no snow on the sidewalks or streets, doesn't that mean that there's some residual warmth in the sidewalks and streets that keeps the snow from sticking there? If that's what makes you happy, I'll uh, go ahead and say that. All right. I'm I fine will. with that, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, uh, it's going to taper off. That's what I'd like From to tell what? you right now. It to seems when? like it's going to taper off. Well, sure, when, when will that later. happen? When's it going to taper off? Yeah. Oh, soon. Soon. Uh, Real soon. Can you put April, a time on May. it? Oh, probably anywhere between uh, now and uh, the end of the day. Okay, so, thank you. Ladies absolutely. and gentlemen, we are joined by the Mike O'Mara Show staff meteorologist, yeah. non-committal, who really, out of character, undersold this one. That's right. A non-committal storm coming up the East Coast, combining with West Coast low pressure, combined to make for uh, quite a little snow event right around the Washington, D.C. area. And out the mountains, whoa, Nelly, did now, they get a lot more than what, we called for. Was this in your forecast? Uh, sure not, yes. What? <laughs> not uh, of course. Yes. Hello, Oscar. Not when I sure. checked out the How National Weather hey, Service, which I know you're not a big fan of. Yeah. You need to take uh, a breath. Not no, that's okay. I'm fine. I breathe. I said... <laughs> <laughs> I breathe each and every day. I like to wake up with the sun and... <laughs> Feel that wonderful air in my lungs, mm, non-committal hate. I said less real. than an inch, Yeah, and it probably won't stick to the ground. Not so bad. It'll yeah. be a decent commute to work. Oh, was I surprised when I heard the snow plows outside. I yes. bet. <laughs> well, you, do you get surprised a lot? I get surprised quite a bit, you, yes. You're not supposed to be surprised. You're supposed to forecast Oh, this let's weather. not get silly. Surprise is fun. <laughs> what fun would life be if you went through life and you didn't care? You know, if you didn't care point. and suddenly there were no surprises and everything was predictable. <laughs> Let me see if... Predicting's okay. overrated. I'm coming around. Uh, non-committing is a much much less overrated. I like Let it. Let me see if this surprises yes, you. Yes, yes, surprise okay. me. Go okay. right ahead. Today is March 25th. Yes, it is. And I just want... Boo! March. <laughs> what? That doesn't surprise you, but no. the weather surprises oh, you. I don't know. Now you're trying to conjure and confuse. No, I'm just trying to get to I the soft inner cookie. Uh, Keep at it, see, the committal meter is indicating that we're going to have a... Uh, I, I, here's a prediction. Committal? You ready? Oh. I will tell you meters. there's a very little chance of snow from this day forward. Ever again? again huh? oh. Ever again? That's my uh, summer almanac. Oh, your summer almanac. I'd say starting April 1st, we're not going to have any more snow at all. Wow, you're really taking a stand. No April snowstorms. Well, that could be. <laughs> what about you, that? Are you playing that as an April Fool? Well, I know that uh, I was home because the committals only work on the uh, weekdays, of course. We how's, leave your, the, uh, how's your wife? We leave uh, Ron Riley and the uh, rest of the uh, the good teams at uh, the various weather centers around the area. <laughs> they work on the uh, weekends, and uh, I like to do my week uh, my work on the weekdays, of sure. course. That's what For I like sure. to do. And uh, so I really wasn't involved with predicting this storm in any way, shape, or form, so you can't really blame me. <laughs> have you begun the... What a beautiful gray day. Isn't that yeah. snow beautiful have, on the heavy you, snow? You might have mentioned it what? Friday. You might have mentioned it Friday. That Friday. That would have been helpful. Well, I, uh, I, I, t- I told you there was a slight chance that we might have some sort of an event that might involve some precipitation, <laughs> always, some of it mixed. You always say that. That's what I say. <laughs> I'm really good at telling you what the temperatures are now. Yeah, yes, committal. you are. I don't have my weather map in front of me, though. Do you use the European model or the American model? Oh, that's the big controversy in weather circles right now, whether to sure. use the American model or the European model. Well, you know, the European models are traditionally a little more accurate than the American models, at least in the last two years. It seems to me that the American models have not been uh, as as dearly accurate as uh-huh. the European models. What's so your, right now that the American models are lagging behind the European models, you've got to go with the American models in a combination with the European models because if you use the European models ex- exclusively, you're going to get a situation where the American models and the European models are going to go competition crazy. What? And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a nice little homogenized weather forecast that comes out of the European model and the American model, and combining those two will give us an accurate forecast for you and, of course, our Doppler 4000. So you wouldn't really choose one model over the other? I don't think that would be a... I don't think that would be prudent. I see. Well, that's be- just the way I look at it. But <laughs> that's okay. I like Paris in the springtime. We all do. <laughs> hey, you know what's a great American model? Kate Upton. Kate Upton is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Under understand she's put uh, put on a few uh, a few a few LBs. Uh, a few LBs. Would you like to predict how much weight she's gained? Uh, probably uh, about. Mm, 
0.3% of her body weight. Well, that doesn't help me. How about an actual pounds? Give oh, me something concrete. don't get me to go out on a limb on that one. <laughs> She's right. a lovely young lady, and I'd love to have her in the weather. She's on the fat muscle line, isn't she? She's absolutely <laughs> on the fat muscle line. Yeah. That's very good, Buzz. I like that quite a bit. And how about that young man that asked her to the prom? Isn't that special? Yeah, that's yeah, very he cute. Was I don't think dick. she's going. You know, is she going to go or not? I wish she would she commit. She hasn't committed. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? What did you say? Uh, she hasn't committed. I was she agreeing hasn't committed with you. Yet. Yes. Well, that's, uh, you know, I can relate to she that. She says she might be busy in May. <laughs> but listen, the snow's going to move out of the area today, and sunny skies will prevail, and I think it'll be a beautiful day tomorrow. How long before we actually have sun? Uh, don't get me to commit to that. <laughs> It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> Control yourself. God damn, will you put on some pants? Phil, do not go in the bathroom. Al, oh, just calm down. <laughs> Phil, there is a tiger in the bathroom. What's going on? There's a jungle cat in the bathroom! Okay, okay, I'll, check, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Don't go in, don't go in. Be careful, don't, don't. <laughs> oh. See? Holy See? He's not kidding, there's a tiger in there. No, there isn't. Yeah! It's bitch, gigantic! You okay, buddy? No, I am in so much pain right now. Wait, how, how does a tiger get in the bathroom? He almost killed me. Hey, bro, you mind putting on some pants? I find it a little weird I have to ask twice. Pants at a time like this, I don't have any. Hey, Phil, am I missing a tooth? I can't. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! My lateral incisors, it's gone. Mm. It's okay, okay, okay. We just need to just calm mm. down. We're fine. Everything's mm. fine. What am I gonna tell Melissa? I lost a tooth. I have no idea how it happened. I don't, it's, you're freaking me out, man. I got a massive headache. Okay, let's just calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? Look around you. I look like a nerdy hillbilly. I want to do bad things with you. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara. Buzz Burbank. Rob Speedway. Oscar Santana. And now, from his couch, here's Mike. Hey, it's your old buddy Rob right here waiting for Mike to plug his microphone in. <laughs> How's that sound? Hey, that oh, the fidelity better. is very high. All right, hold on a second. I'm just trying to figure things out here. Did non-committal screw up your microphone boom? I hate my microphone so much. I like the microphone. I hate yes, my mic do. stand. Yeah. See, I'm not supposed to talk to it like that. I'm not supposed to be no, on this a, side. It's what's it. called a front fire microphone. That's the way I'm supposed to talk to it. Right. right. And I just uh, you know, sounds kind of awesome. Either Here's way. Here's the thing that wrong that doesn't work. See, I like that you say this thing. entire this entire microphone is mounted in such a way. That's the only way. Oh, it you can know go. what we could so do? That thing is not it's, sticking right at me. Just give him mine. Right. And then I'll wrestle with that guy. We can do is that. that. Fair? That is absolutely fair. Well, that's a great idea. Do you no, we're not going to stop tape. No, we're going to be okay. professionals, and we're going to go ever so forward. We're going to power through with the show. We are live. I from do the... believe your new boom is due in today. We are live from the Cappy Pfeiffer Studios. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, how's this your is the Mike O'Mara show. How's your neck? What, what I like is that when you use the mic properly, it looks like you're looking away from us, like when you yell at a dog. <laughs> the dog won't make eye contact. Skipper, <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? Did you make this mess on the carpet, Mike? This is the Mike O'Mara show. We are downloaded world. Worldwide, seven and a half million times, and powered by Encore Insurance. Why don't you look at me? We are at uh, <laughs> we are at MikeOmeraShow dot com, one hundred two point nine FM, WTNT. He is the evasive one. Right, hold on. Thank no, God no. you worked on your shoulders this weekend. That's right. <laughs> It's there a suspension go. mountain. Okay. Like much of our infrastructure, it's crumbling. And uh, we are also at uh, the mighty sixteen thirty KCJJ. In- in Iowa. Ah. So, You're going to put your eye out. You know that, don't you? We've learned something from this. Yes, we have. The thing you learn is we never, when it comes to little pieces of hardware, Go with the we manufacturer. will never buy cheap again. That's right. right. Because this is a toy. It is not a real. When in you fact, know what it's designed to do? It's designed to look like something that's real when it's really a, a toy. Replica. What happened, Mike? An effort to save $70 actually just cost us 20 Right. Hi to Steve and uh, all the good folks out at KCJJ in Hi. Iowa, AM 1630, the mighty 1630 KCJJ. Uh, we are brought to you today by Encore Insurance Services, LLC, the people who bring you this show every single weeknight on 102.9 WTNT. Even if you already have life insurance, uh, Encore can help you save more. And uh, they helped Oscar do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, for a free quote, visit smartterm.com or call 866-347-5748. They'll compare rates to help you save. Licensing and disclaimer info at smartterm.com. Let them know that you appreciate 
appreciate them as much as we do. That's Encore Insurance Services. Great people over there. The best. And they will save you money. Smartterm.com. And really, we're all going to die, so get life insurance. Yeah, yeah. do it now before there's you my, die. Make, make money on it. <laughs> there's my my little promo <laughs> for life insurance. There's good money in that. You know, really, Mike, there's no reason you can't turn the tragedy of death into a financial windfall. That's right. I had a weekend. Carrie I, just upped mine. Doing non-committal after having the weekend I had. Uh, your boy is tired. I had a uh, I had quite a weekend. A and Just busy. Just well, busy. You were showbiz busy, busy, guy this weekend. I was showbiz guy. There was a lot going on. It was <laughs> he a hen- is it was, the narrator. It was a hen house here. It was just <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you know, lots going on. Uh, but I, I am here to tell you that is not the lead story today, ladies and gentlemen. What is our top story? The lead story today. Northern Virginia. Yes. I have officially broken the cherry of the snowblower. Hey! Hey! Wow. Do you like your pathway in, boys? Wow. It's beautiful. Nice, yes. like the, did you come in the back way or did you come in the hey, front door? I came up the, the side, you know, steps. Oh, the side. Yeah, right. Well, then you didn't. You, I didn't get to enjoy have, it because I was You should have gone. You oh. should have gone through the back. See, I didn't know if I was parking in the carport, so I parked on the street. Just oh. I danced in like Fred flipping a stair. It was great. I I I cleaned my neighbor's uh, path okay. over. There. Oh, look at you. My neighbor Mike's path was mm-hmm. cleared. My neighbor Richard's sidewalk was cleared. I blew my sidewalk. I blew the walkway. I blew the back sidewalk coming in. Who are you, I Ginger blew, Lynn? I blew a little. <laughs> I blew a little part of the driveway. He blew the neighbors. Yeah. And I know it's going to melt like by five o'clock, yeah, but, but it worked. Or sooner, but yeah. it worked. Yeah. Good. You know, well, finally we've tested it. It really did work, and it was heavy. I mean, I mean, like water snow. That would have so. been workout snow. But young Mister you, Ronick, young yes. Mister Ronick actually sent some clips from. From the Mike O'Mara show archives regarding your snowblower. Yeah, he sent me the uh, the the date too. I would love to play this. This comes from twenty five. <laughs> oh, this will be. Good. I'm sorry, no, the thirty first of January, two thousand eleven. Okay, this is over two years ago. Wow. Very good. Well, go. While you're playing that, I'm going to disconnect my microphone good. and hook it up. All right, I want to say thank you to uh, Mark and to Buzz and to RJ and to <laughs> Rob and to Oscar. Thank you for my new snowblower. Hey, uh, uh, did, yeah. did, did we get a good buy? He, he didn't know it. He was the no, only one that didn't yeah, know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, if you ever want to use it, it's yours. Great. <laughs> I really want you to bring it to me and you can blow my driveway. Yeah. Come to my house I, and blow something. I said to Buzz, I mean this, I mean it, mean it, mean it, mean it. It is anybody's for the taking. It's uh-huh. truly not convenient, though, for us. To <laughs> truly. No, it isn't. No. Yeah, I mean, uh, Thank you. Not, you can say it the way you want pay, it, but it's listen, not convenient. I plan to pay the show very, back. Very nice. Okay, he plans to. You know, the best laid plans. You know, he doesn't save anything, but he saves that because he has hung on to the fact that I bought that snowblower with the show's money. Sure. Yeah. And he has held on oh, wait, to that. Wait, there's more, Mike. Oh, I guarantee. Great. This is the over- Get ready, America. Here comes a guarantee. This is the overwhelming Two years ago. that has been in my brain. And I think you're right about this. Since I did this, Buzz, I feel this as strongly mm-hmm. as any thought. Mm-hmm. because it's bedrock there, foundation and your core of belief. I believe uh-huh. that... We will now right. get two more inches of snow if that. in a decade. <laughs> we will no longer. We oh will not God. get anything more than a flurry. Even this storm that's coming tonight, right, the ice it's storm. ice. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's going to be an ice storm because I bought a snowblower. Right. <laughs> Think how much money you could have saved if you bought a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> We're funny. You've got the third eye. It's a pretty good show. You know how you, you know. You predicted correctly. <laughs> you know how you know you're doing a good show when. Uh, when listening to the uh, the archives doesn't make you cringe anymore. No, that's right. You know, Mike, that was over two years ago. I want you to know that those clips are old enough to be walking and talking now. <laughs> they are toddlers. Clips. They are toddlers. You called it, though. You did. Yeah. Uh, wow. And today, uh, it, I felt... There was so little snow, probably two inches, yeah. two, to three uh, of two and a half inches yeah. of very heavy snow. Now, you are Prince snow. William County, or are you Manassas City? I'm Manassas City. You come here every day. Don't you Don't, but, don't you look at a map? Yeah, No, I don't, Mike, because I know the way, and nor do I pay taxes here. <laughs> but I know that your proximity to Prince William is closed, and right. they closed schools. The city limits delineated with speed traps. So I understand. That's how you tell. You know oh, yeah. what you did today? On the What's other that? side of the Yantas, you Silas. <laughs> you pulled a Lowell Melser. You put on goggles for a little rain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> When I had it out there, <laughs> that's true. Two things happened. I fired it up and I said, "If this is so little snow that I'm not going to be able to use the mm-hmm. blower, yeah, then I'll just put it back in the ground." And yeah. it was on the cusp. Really, now, the other thing, gone though, way. this is typical. Mm-hmm. This is my neighbor across the street. I fire it up and it's it it turns right over. I check the gas. Of course, the gas is literally 
brimful. To the uh, yeah, where he it. left it. I'm sure it's got fresh oil in it. I, oh, know, yeah. I know it's perfect. Richard good looks good guy. Good and guy. He's just that, that kind of guy. So and cool. I take it out to the driveway, and there's about two and a half inches mm. of wet snow, and it starts working, and it goes right down to the pavement, Beautiful. and I'm happy. And I went nuts, and I went down the street. And did uh, you make a, kind of fun? Did you make a Charlie laugh? Uh, no, no, I did not make. <laughs> what a was Charlie your inside? Laugh. What was your inside core feeling? At yeah, that it was, it was feeling. Fun. It was just say, you know, this. If we get a real like winter fluffy snow, that this will be a nice product to use. I will, I'll actually do. really enjoy doing this because it actually works so so efficiently. It's a good test. Then. It did jam up though because it's it's slush. Yeah, and it really is. So you gotta clear that thing and uh, I need some sort of stick. I think there's a tool that yeah, came with it. Your hand the amazing in thing is my hand in it. like only, a couple of times when it was running. Here, Not the oh, auger though. When you were able to use your snowblower for the first time it was only about twenty degrees cooler than it was when we went to South Florida. I know. Yeah. I know. It's just been <laughs> it weird. It's fifty four there, it's thirty four today. And, and this is it. I'm done with it right now. It's like yeah. thank you very much. That was our last little snow. Yeah. Don't want to see any more. Ready to sit on the sun porch. Ready to enjoy myself. Right, yes, please. Enough with this crap. This is too much winter. This is what we get. March comes into Washington D.C. and it's just like all of a sudden, you know, Washington decides it wants a little winter. Right. Yeah. And it gets very, very frustrating. It's spring. But I'm here to tell you, uh, you know, it is uh, mark the date, March 25th at uh, you know about eight o'clock this morning. Mm-hmm. There I was out there and uh, took care of my neighbor on the right. Took care of my neighbor on the left. Not really because you know part of his path was already melting. <laughs> Yeah. Snowblower's almost paid for itself. Yeah, Should have gotten up earlier. My thought, Oscar, is when I was out there, uh, you know, I really thought that I was maybe looking like an idiot with my snowblower. Were you the only one? Well, here's the thing. Did you I, have a goofy hat? I no, Good. no. I, I had my. I was wearing. Well, this you're hat not an wearing... idiot. You're, look, I think anybody that that probably knows you by now knows right. that you've bought, you've had really <laughs> a snowblower in your garage. Uh, covered in glass, yes. you want, in ca- breaking case of emergency. Exactly. Yeah. So you exactly. finally did that, and it, and it did. I mean, it saved me. You got to clear that path. Yes. I don't know when it's going to melt, right. and it did go down to pavement. So I actually it's, did what I could have done with a shovel mm-hmm. in about ten, ten times what it faster. Is like, it's go. like having an electric knife. You only it use it about every two years, right? But when you need it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awesome. important. And you hook your neighbors up. It could be a little more powerful. I'd oh. like it to be a little more powerful. Are you sure powerful. that wasn't wasn't the operator? I don't know. It might have been just the heavy, wet snow that we got this time. As Maybe that's to a drier, it. Maybe you need powdery. a better one. I need a better yeah. one. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I need so to upgrade. Gone. So the show's going to buy me a, a, a more expensive. <laughs> good. Well, the good news is the show is also taking out a reverse mortgage. Then <laughs> it was really. <laughs> Can it, we do that? It was fun. I'm sure. It was fun. Can and we reverse? Work out of a house. Already reversed. And I really am happy that uh, I did get to use it, and I will keep it in the garage for next time for next winter. It, la- it lasts. Year 2011. I will not sell it at a yard sale. Did you call any family members down? to check out your work uh no carla was already at work her mother was already at work mm-hmm. it was uh you know i had hens in my house all weekend long and uh you know they they left and i was like bye-bye what i think don't is let the door hit you see you later perfect. hens when you use it again in 2015 i think it's going to be great <laughs> yes and i also want to say as a compliment to you that you've had your issues with the in the past with yes, other residents of this house mm-hmm. and at no point this morning did you encourage frankie to get in front of the snowblower <laughs> no yeah, frankie and i are getting along a lot better i uh showed to walk. I really, the, the serious way, if you guys, if I'm expecting you guys to come to this house right. to do this show mm-hmm. in inclement weather conditions, I will prepare the walkway. And then it's great when Buzz says, I walked in the sideway. Well, it's, it's like, I Jesus, parked, you, I, I know. Didn't... No, but you walk around no, with Buzz ceiling. came in through the yard with tennis rackets tied to his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Snowshoes. Sploosh, sploosh. Right. Yeah, Buzz, uh, Buzz is very territorial when it comes to the carport. He loves going carport? on there. I heard but that. I happily you said, didn't park oh, there today. I didn't park there today. You can park there today. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if the painter was still here. What I wanted to be courteous. <laughs> okay, it was not the painter. It was a variety of people that I were see. here. Well, at any rate, I wanted to be thoughtful and courteous and not having any new information. I thought it would park on but the street. But to be fair, you don't like not parking in that carport because that's your spot. No, Always I, has been. I don't. I don't mind parking on the street, especially since I found a way to circle around and park in the direction I need to go when I leave. So it's fine. <laughs> it's it all about your going. exit. That's right. Do you oh, mind? It, is it weird to have to add 40 seconds to your oncoming commute as opposed to <laughs> adding 30 seconds to your leaving commute? It, it's not about the 40 seconds. Don't you, <laughs> don't you believe that's a little finicky that you would even think that, oh, my God, I can't Is that the first time work? Oscar's used the word finicky no, on the show? No, no, I think it is. No, finicky is when you get tired of your partners trying to paint you with something you're not. That's <laughs> finicky. The actions yeah. speak louder than the words, mm-hmm. Buzz. Uh, we all do it. We all want to uh, you know, park in a convenient way. And what's funny, I'm beyond the car. 
airport now. I'm laughing about you <laughs> actually pointing the car in the direction. So are you pointing? So what I direction have, you, is your very, car pointed that way now? It is. It's very difficult. <laughs> that it's not makes a, me laugh. It's not impossible, but it's a little cumbersome to make a three-point turnaround. Why do it's that? It's the Austin Powers turn. I do it every day. Why do that? Yeah, I know, and I just got tired of doing it after a while. <laughs> you know what this is? This is just like RJ backing in. Yeah. It, it really no, is. No, 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 it's not. Not no, quite. No, no. If I was Buzz, I would I, I that I would do that. I'm going to defend That's Buzz. Smart. I don't know. I can, I can tell smart. you. Check this out. R- write this down. I'm defending Buzz Burbank. Make I don't a note do it of it. very often. I can show you. This is really, I guess it's because I'm a lifelong <laughs> resident of the Washington, D.C. area. Right. But there is a great thing that I've discovered. It's tricky, and not a lot of people will do it. Uh, it's tricky. But you can, uh, you can actually take a U-turn and turn around. No, it's there, crazy. There's, there's not room on that street to make a U-turn. If you take a right, you can take a U-turn and then come on back, and it would add maybe 15 seconds to your day. I've okay, so that you're before. talking about do coming, it every day. Yeah. You're talking about taking the right out in front of the house, yeah, going down that I'm little park, separation, yeah, and doing yeah, a U-turn. zip around. It's nothing yeah. to it. There's yeah, no traffic. That, that is that is true. And that's also have you Mike, ever expl- <laughs> completely legal, <laughs> have you as ever, opposed to the three point turn in the middle of a street. Oh, calm, <laughs> calm down. Have you ever uh, explored? Don't yeah, you ever, that's true. Don't you ever feed the pit bulls? Don't you ever <laughs> feed them? So yeah, have you ever explored that part of the street? Uh, no, I don't. I, I have a. I have. A, it's like a superstition. <laughs> So uh, bear with me for a superstition. I'll play. After, this, this after you guys great. got after you guys got hit, this is like uh, on, a Monday gift. After you guys got hit on the street out to front, drive by, I just yeah. I, made it, death. I made it my policy not to park there for the longest time. You encouraged me to park in the carport, so that, I made kind of made that my home. That's a bit uh, of a stretch. With, with, no, that's no. I remember. I could, I'll find the email in which you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you actually gave I, us Mark's spots. not the only one with an archive. <laughs> you gave us spots. You signed us spots in one you way did. or another. Really? We're yeah. not breaking. I'm just playing a song for Buzz. Yeah. All right, Carly gives me more crap about where, part, where Buzz parks than anybody else on the street. <laughs> well, you'll probably be best now that you're happy with the yeah. way you do it. Yeah. Let's keep it that way. Fine. I'm happy with that. Because, and you know, it, it's just, uh, it, it'll work It'll work mm-hmm. well for everybody. Well, Carla is pregnant. She is yeah. pregnant. A couple she less, is less steps. And regarding uh, the superstition of the odds, the odds of Why being... Why are you playing the music now? I've said we're not breaking. I'm playing because superstition I, oh, okay. for Buzz. I, I hate it when you play music. It confuses yeah, me. I hate so when we add was, elements to the show. So no, I'm like Pavlov. I mean, you know, it's, it's like Pavlov. Love's dog. When you do that, I start salivating because it's time for a commercial. But the break. thing about Buzz parking there and being superstitious, the odds of an old man having a heart attack and flipping his Ford automobile and destroying my car and nicking yours. <laughs> the odds of that happening once. <laughs> don't you make eyes at me. No, I'm just thinking what happened with that. There was something. And yet, and despite yeah. those incredible odds, it happened. Yes, and the odds of it happening again are double that. It's mm-hmm. never going to happen again. The man is dead. No, probably. the man survived. I think. Yeah, but he probably not I have driving. a solution. Yes. 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 He is the solver. Buzz can park on this side, on the house side of this street. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm not mentioning streets because no, I, right, right. I don't like people with bad teeth showing up and knocking on the door. I yeah, and so, watch that, Josh. Uh, what I, what Buzz can park, <laughs> you can park on this side. Uh-huh. Then you can go out, take a right, take an immediate U-turn and come back around. And that will be... That'll be your 40 seconds. And that will not be a three-point turn. The three-point turn, see, what you do is uh-huh. you do the thing where you go back, forward, and, and start. Yeah. That's that's not necessary. Oh, I've done that. Because if you... At what point does the parachute come out of the back of his car? <laughs> 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 well, you got to slow down somehow. If you brave, if you brave that street... Yeah. I'm telling you that when you're when the spirit moves, like you're uh-huh. running late, right. and you come from that direction, correct? I, I used to, but I now I started coming from that direction, so that I boom, I'm parked. So actually, he, he, he drives around your block. See, I don't think that's around. the right way to do it. What I would do <laughs> is I would come from that direction. Here comes Buzz, and then when you're ready to leave, uh-huh. you just have you go right, that's, left, right, and you're uh, you go that, right. <laughs> left, left, and you're on your way. Absolutely, and I've done that as well. You know, so oh, you've I, done that. That gives me two sides of the street to park on, and just to throw you guys off, I'll alternate. How about Monday, Wednesday, Friday? <laughs> Never. I, you know, where else on the planet does anyone pay this much attention to anyone else's parking? Why do you care? <laughs> oh, here comes Buzz. He's going to park. You mentioned the carport at the beginning of the show because I was recently asked not to park there, and I'm happy to comply with that. So I'm finding I'm see because I do like to try new things. <laughs> Contrary to the way I've been painted on this show, I found something new that makes me equally happy. It How was, about this? It was hold on. It was workman. You just settle down. You. It was workman. <laughs> That's why. That's why I didn't want you to park. It was a. Right. It was the guy that was here from the one company. Right. The company that I fired uh, in less than twenty four hours. Wow. Yeah. I, well, I haven't fired him yet. <laughs> oh oh no. So he doesn't know. In your I head, have no you idea. Fired this is him. going down. I'm, I'm not firing him for our internet. Oh. 
I'm firing him for our TV. Before, uh, before we I move can. on to well, that. Well, even if I can't, I am. I'm firing You're going to have to. Go there, yeah. Now that we have been blessed with the addition to Josh to our family, yes. have we totally ruled out the possibility of valet parking? <laughs> <laughs> we, we should not. I mean, I mean, it would cost us a fortune in tips, but think of the convenience. And make a little extra cash. I was wondering if I could bring it around. <laughs> bring me your car. Uh, Josh, <laughs> do you own any red jackets? <laughs> <laughs> I can procure one. <laughs> well, you know what it used to be with the parking was, and I used to call uh, uh, fat ass number one and fat ass number two had the the A list parking right in front of the house. Yeah, and that was that was Rob and RJ. That was a controversy, and, and they, I mean, that was uh, it, that was the you guys had the the premier. Locations. You can have your carport all day, every day. What I've mm-hmm. got is I, I exit, if I was you, I, I would be there. I exit to the walkway. It's yes, fantastic. That's exactly the way you have. Love a, it. Love it. A-list mm-hmm. parking. Well, actually, you have the best parking spot, which is your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked I walk downstairs. Mark today uh, is working from home, as he often does, because he uh, lives far away, and he does not need to be here every day. And we had a little exchange this morning about uh, him, and I. You know, he, you know, he's got his uh, daughter with him for uh, spring break, right. and, I, and I said, listen, you know, this is what I said. You have a flex schedule, and you can do this as one of those days. Right. He mm-hmm. was concerned. He said, I'll come in if you want me to. I said, no, I mean, it, it's, it's the panic that you're going to have to deal with. Yeah, I know right, you could right. drive in here, but you've got the idiots that are going to give you a two and a half, three hour commute to get here. Make right. a I said, chill, and yeah, chill three out. point turns. And uh, yeah, you know, at the same time, I wanted to say, you know, I made it in. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say that. Uh, listen, speaking of phone service, yeah, and intranet service, intro, and television service, uh-huh. I spent a good three hours of my life over the weekend. With two different companies that this apparently shocks me. that apparently fall under the same umbrella, <laughs> I only found that out at the the last minute. Yeah. But this shocks me. I am here to tell you that uh, I had a horrible weekend with people that provide television service, Oy. and I'll tell you all about that when we come back. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Did you print this out. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Okay. That's how we received it in an envelope oh, in the God. mail. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Little font for Mikey. It is. Uh, a letter comes to us from Ron, and he writes, "Hey guys, I just wanted to pass along a few of the cards I received from VistaPrint today. I uh, wanted to update my business cards to add our website Facebook page, and uh, I wanted to. I've wanted to update my business cards to add our website, right, Facebook page, and store hours for a while now, and Vistaprint was the perfect opportunity to get this done. Mm-hmm. I used the TMOS code, got free shipping, even though I added an extra 250 cards. I upgraded to Ooh. better paper stock and had printing on both sides, and the price was still great. Last November, I used Vistaprint to send a select customers Christmas cards with my business logo and, logo rather, and a calendar card, Brilliant. making sure Vistaprint knew I heard about them from your show. Cool. They're a great company, and I will use them in the future thanks tmos for bringing vista print to my attention and what a beautiful card it is this comes from uh, sure is. the bartlett gallery and framing creative design and quality custom framing and that's uh, ron and jennifer garrity and i'm going to show you mm-hmm. a picture of their card how right great there. is it that a so fit- free advertising for them right there from vista print a right company right. a successful cool. company that their entire job is art and making things mm-hmm. look good they choose vista print and make that? it look the best 250 top quality business cards 10 bucks free shipping and your satisfaction is guarantee, guaranteed. Rather, That's half off for Vistaprint's new heavier paper stock, and it's really, really easy. Choose from thousands of designs. Upload your own. It's time to get business cards, people. On a tight budget, how about this? 250 cards, $10, free shipping, easy, guaranteed. Vistaprint.com. Enter TMOS in the search bar. Yay. Buzz, thanks for that Beauty. new copy. Very welcome. That. I appreciate that. Absolutely. So, uh, what a weekend. I, I, I tell you, I had it was the good, the bad. I had a delightful I weekend. I was so I really shocked did. because we actually tried an experiment on Friday that yes. failed miserably. Mm-hmm. But because of its failure, we left. You and I were both in great moods. Right. Because mm-hmm. we, we recorded our phone calls for a cancellation mm-hmm. that we expected would go horribly. Right. And it could not have gone better. My conversation with, and I'm going to refer to these companies as uh, television company A <laughs> and tele- te- television company B, simply because. Like the bars in Florida. I have no desire whatsoever to give 
either one of them more credit than the other. Okay. Because they all, as many people wrote to me this weekend, Mm -hmm. they all suck. True. They all lie. (laughs) They all suck. Mm. Their customer service is one person will tell you one thing, another person will tell you another thing, and some of them are pleasant, and some of them are complete a-holes. Okay. And so this went on all weekend. Company A was installed on Friday. Mm-hmm. And is that uh, this one? That is this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. And company A put in the uh the new computer system and uh, we're very happy with our our high speed internet. Yes. It's working very very well. Working great. And I also bundled my TV and my telephone with company A. I feel bad because I think I recommended the bundling. I thought you could save a lot of money. And I did. Okay. And uh and I was very excited and about that prospect. Now, mm-hmm. when it comes to the TV, which I mm-hmm. care an awful lot about, mm-hmm. Company A had indicated to me, this is, I make it real easy. When I, when I order my television service, Mm -hmm. I don't cherry pick. I say, I want everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Outside of your ridiculous porn channels and all of the sports (laughs) packages. Mike likes the ridiculous porn. I, I want everything. Uh And I said specifically movies. I need everything. I need to see everything. Mm -hmm. I need to have it on the West Coast. I need everything. So give me everything. And they said, yes. So everything was done. I went out Friday afternoon. Uh, Carla wrapped up with the people that were here. They finished the installation, which was, let's just say, just a big bowl of fine. Oh, really not so great? Because the installer didn't want to do anything other than what his robotic daily mission is. Was so, that the jovial guy that we met on Friday afternoon? Yes, it was. But wow, polite, he seemed to no, have no, A very polite, nice guy. Mm. But when it comes to anything, like you have remotes that are set up to for sync? your televisions yeah. to sync, mm. he isn't going to touch that. And uh, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I don't like it. Yeah. But it, but it's that's why I say right. it's a big bowl of okay. You're okay, just going to come out here. You know, I've got Letter a, of the law. I've got a wonderful right. little uh, you know universal UHF remote thing that mm. I use that's just delightful for me to use and it kind of sucked that now I have to go back and kind of figure that out and I'm not a TV yeah. programmer and I don't when so I think they should do that I think that should be agreed part of the equation so nothing so mm-hmm. all the sets are just you know the box that remote and that's it no problem I, I can accept that fact and then I immediately because I asked for it I go to my TV channels and what's the number one TV channel that uh, that uh, everybody would want as some uh, as someone who likes movies? What would you want? HBO. 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 Home box office, Mike. Click on the home box office number once where one, most of my recorded programming is. Sure. Right. That'll be nineteen ninety five a month. I am not subscribed to it. This what? is after I have already uh, said, oh. and I said again oh, and again. No. I, I literally and uh, Rob, I wish I wish Failed. I really had recorded that part. the real conversation. <laughs> they snowblowed because, you because <laughs> I said to to this woman the previous day when I was working on my bundle price. Yeah. I said to her, I know it at least three times, but probably four times. That gets me every single movie channel. Mm-hmm. She said that gets you all your movie channels. We confirmed it. So. This began the evening of trying oh, to get no. my movie channel, and I got smug. I got, we can't help you. I got wow. this. I got that. It went back and forth. I, I, I said, I, my behavior, I wrote this down today. Ha. I said, I really wanted to say Here we go. a weekend of abuse with television providers, huh. and the abuse wasn't coming from them. Wow. <laughs> I right. want to apologize to all those people. I really do that I may have said F you to oh, because wow. I don't I don't hold back. Well, I'm glad yeah. that you, you you open up the opportunity by saying there's people that you may have said that to. I, How many times might you have said it? Uh, probably three times to three different people. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. that old. I, I said, you know, you're you're you know, I have and no idea. And they still didn't help you. I have no idea. <laughs> and finally, it gets to a point. So. I get it. I get it to where they're going to offer it to me for half. Whoa! Which to me is unacceptable, yeah. but yeah. I had to accept it because they're really not going to give me anything better. Mm-hmm. So at the end of that oh conversation, I'm like, fine. And then, if you know me, you know that I have one particular sport that I love more than any other sport to watch on television. It's soccer. Not, it's not hockey. It's the football. It's the baseball. Baseball, uh, really? It's my beloved Boston Red okay. Sox, and it's one particular network. The New England Sports Network. Mm-hmm. Yes. And NESN. I said, oh, yeah. And I Massive. looked at it. And you know what? I just didn't look at it. I didn't look at the fact that, yeah, they've got it. But much like 10 years ago, it ain't in HD. Mm. Oh, wow. And if really? I can't watch my baseball on HD, it's a big deal. And at that point, I'm like, 
let me just call. And they said, yes, uh, we don't offer it in a high definition. Mm-hmm. But we do offer you the package. I said, well, that's to watch baseball. See, a lot of these companies think if you like a particular sport. You mm-hmm. want it all. That you just have to get it all. Sure. It's America. You've got to get it all. But you don't give a rat's ass. And then when I found out that they don't offer the majority of their games in high definition, I went, that's did, it. Did your previous provider provide all those in high depth? Yes. Yeah. And really, I would say, I'm not even a sports guy, but I know this from watching golf and occasionally seeing football. When you see a sporting event in high definition, right. that's the most impossible one to step back from. Exactly. It mm-hmm. looks like a whole other... Looks nother, incredible. It's yeah. a whole other ball game. Looks beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Your CeeLo Green approach to cable providers <laughs> where you just kind of insult them and yes. tell them how you really feel. Right. Uh where did that? Because it doesn't matter. They're, you're not yeah. a person to them. Yeah. So in my feel, you know, you're never gonna. They're not even gonna remember you because where, they right, deal with you. Right. Where, they might remember you. Where, they might remember. Where me. did that leave you? <laughs> Trevor might remember me. Oh hi, Trev. How you been? Smug nerd douche, Trevor. Smug Trevor. <laughs> yeah. Where did that leave you? Trevor was you? a pure a hole hump. <laughs> was this on a Friday <laughs> night or was this kind. Saturday morning? Uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, oh man. man. As a matter of fact, Sunday was uh, when I sw- when I called. Here's what happened. So finally, uh, after the Nesson thing, yeah. uh, New England Sports Network, I'm like, I can't. I, I, the, I mean, no matter what, service, whatever, I'm not going to live with this and with the new remotes and the antiquated technology, which it is. Mm. It's not where the the previous company B is with, with that as far as TV service. At any point, were you venting to Carla? Uh, oh, I was. They were hearing it, and they were they were totally amused. The, oh, the heads, of course, it was it was Carla, it was her mom, it was her mom's buddy Laura, and they were in here, and they were all cackling. Come at over me, and see the show, and they were laughing and say, "Hey, I heard." Hey, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, huh? Huh? Linda's friend uh, Laura says to me as I walk into the kitchen, "Hey, how's Trevor doing?" <laughs> oh, so she even knew his <laughs> she name. She heard me. She wow. heard me when I was talking. Wow. About it. So I pull the plug on. I decide that's it. They're gone. I'm done. I'm going to be uh, because they don't offer this. This is Sunday. I decide. Uh, no, check that. Saturday, I, I decide after my Friday night talking with these people that I'm going to pull the plug. So I called the the company A, who I had gotten rid of last week. And company A... No, this I, is company B, because you're going back... Company B. I right. talked to company yeah. B, and I'm having a fantastic conversation with company B. And this wonderful lady named Lola, and I remembered her, and she was terrific. She was really nice, and she said, well, uh, you are a valued customer. You were with us for a very long time. I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I was. I was a valued customer. Mm-hmm. I was... Uh, Always good pay. I always did everything did right. Did you mention that she, did she walk like a woman but talk like a man? <laughs> her name is Lola. She was a showgirl. <laughs> Met her in a club. So Lola, Lola gets on with me and says, we can not only hook you back up, but we're going to give you the new technology, too, Ooh. with the new DVR genie technology. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I, think I just hello, gave, master. I think I just, hello, master. <laughs> master, master, do you hate all television companies? <laughs> and do they all fall under the same corporate umbrella anyway, which they do? Yeah. Verizon and DirecTV. So uh, Lola, I mentioned their, their names now. So I'm talking to Lola, and Lola says, we're going to put this in. I see you've got uh, these existing uh, you know, HD receivers. You can keep those, right. and then the rest will be free. No expense out of pocket to you. You're oh. all set to go. You're going to be good to go. And let's work on the programming. And I said, okay, now uh, the one thing I want to make clear, because this was the problem with right. the other company, I get everything, right? I get everything. Absolutely everything. She said, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's our that's our best package, and that's uh, got all the movie channels. Uh-huh. Da, 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 they like normally that. attach a metal to it. Would this be platinum? Yeah. And she gives me this. And now this is customer. They're different divisions. Yes. There's there's oh, re, yeah. there's reconnection. Really? And then there's like uh, get your business back. You know, uh-huh. it's the it's the kiss ass department. Uh, that just wants to sell, sell, sell. Right. And then there's reconnection, which is just like, we don't care. We know you pulled it out, and we're going to put you back in. Not even technical support. It's just a totally different division. So she says this, but because you canceled this on Friday, which I did, you're going to have to wait 48 hours. So you have to call back tomorrow and that's you know there's their little rule well, their that's little just arbitrary right. their arbitrary little rule but I'm fine because the price and I said yeah. so you're taking notes on this so when I call back they will have all my information on the discussion we've had the mm-hmm. pricing everything I get mm-hmm. uh Lola's like yes well yeah. Lola was lying of out course. her oh, little no. ass that's what I've Lola does cuz when I called on Friday and I made the distinct mistake of speaking to these people on Sunday morning now, uh-huh. prior to my little appearance with the U.S. Marine Band, oh, which I'll tell no. you about later. <laughs> and uh, I am just, I get this guy, I get it to a supervisor, I get Carlos, and then I get the next guy up, uh-huh. Ray, and Ray is the supervisor, right. and Ray is a 
douche. Oh, oh no. Ray, tough Ray's all about, you're not getting over on me. And I said, I, and I'm not lying. Yeah. Did yeah. he I actually was, say that? that? I was I was quoted this price, and they had nothing in my account about it. Oh, you know man. why they had nothing in my account? Why? Because they lie to you about it. Yeah. Because then when you're really ready to go for it, they can give you the BS answer. Yeah. We'll finish this up when we come back, wow. but they all suck. <laughs> this is the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> This. this is uh, a carryover from wrestling. This is the entrance music for wrestler Brodus Clay. <laughs> and on the way over the Patriot Center, all four Speewax were singing this. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like Cool in the Gang? It's great. Yeah, I love it. it. Welcome walk. back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Score Big. Tis the season for sports, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're taking your family to a game or an event, you know how much you have to pay. It's it's insane in many cases. I'm here with a solution for you. It's at ScoreBig. We talk about it all the time. ScoreBig is a company that works with the uh, ticket vendors, with the venues, and they get the best prices for you. Great seats at up to 60% below the box office price. Your first stop, whatever you want to see, is ScoreBig.com. Below box office prices are guaranteed, and you can get 30 bucks off your first order at ScoreBig when you use our wonderful little code TMOS. So check them out at ScoreBig. Remember, up to 60% off box office prices and the other great thing about ScoreBig uh, compared to the other ticket companies, you never get any fees. Ever. Period. All right? So and not that. just not just great prices. Got us fifth row off the ring for wrestling. You, you said you had the best wrestling p- uh, seats you've ever it had. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Always, stand by always in high def. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> always in high def. <laughs> when you go to the venue. And they remember right. you and they don't lie. So where was I? I was talking to the so Sunday morning. The Sunday morning. We're talking and, to Carlos, the international and, terrorist. And Ray. Uh, and, and then Ray. Carlos, Ray. Car- Carlos was just dumb. Okay. Ray was an a-hole. Yeah. So I went Ray from hole. dumb to an a-hole. Yeah. And the a-hole, and I, and I realized that the a-hole is not going to uh, help me. And I So said, the issue was basically you had price points, package, everything right. ready to go. Right. Just you pull wait, the trigger. You waited the 48 hours. And the price quoted by the, the next day when I was mm. ready to go, it should be in my system, was... Forty five dollars a mo- more a month Ugh. than they have. Than they, and I that's went. That's a lot. I went out of my mind. Yeah. That's like I probably fifty percent, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just not a happy camper mm-hmm. at all. And uh, and it just it really pissed me off. And so finally, this guy Ray goes, "Is there anything more I can do for you today, <gasps> sir?" Uh-huh. You know, that's with that tone. And I said, oh. "I said I need. You don't understand. I I I need to talk to another supervisor. I'm the only supervisor supervisor that's on the floor, sir." I said, you're telling me that you're the only supervisor in DirecTV? No, in this particular call center. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I want to talk to somebody else. Well, I can transfer you to customer service. I said, what can they do? I don't know, sir. That's the conversation. Oh, yeah. That's the that's conversation I'm having with this. Yeah, that's what you want to record a call. That's it. But they don't care. They yeah. really don't. Their business model is: if you've never been with them before, mm-hmm. they're gonna suck you like there's no sucking to be done. Can I say that on the radio? I yes. think so. But leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> they're gonna kiss your behind uh-huh. like nobody's business. But once they get their claws into you, uh-huh. they're they're just gonna be. Dicks. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah. And I, I, you know, and the one thing to everybody, if you ever deal with these people, and this is my advice because I didn't do it, mm-hmm. you write down every yes. single detail of get a what case you, number, what get you the were name great. of your person. I had a case Times, number names, that you've got to go beyond that. You've really? got to write down the details of everything. You're telling me that I'm getting, and you have to ask more questions, mm-hmm. and I'm. I'm busy right. on the weekend. Right. I want to get. They to, take advantage you know, of the fact that you are busy. You don't want to make sucks. a career out of this. It's ridiculous. I've been with them for a long time, and here's one thing I know, and I've I've played them pretty well. This right. company B, but it's like a crooked casino that people keep coming back to because it's the only game in town. Exactly and right. And that's really where they've got you by the short hairs. So I ordered it up. Uh, I finally get done with uh, Ray. I hang up on Ray, uh-huh. and I just call back, and I. I make a couple That's of different play, selections. That is way. actually very striking. You always, sometimes. if you have not ordered a service, you got to make sure. Even if you were an existing customer, you come in. Always press the buttons that get you to the place where mm-hmm. you've never ordered New service customer. before, because right. those are the only people that are going to be kind and understanding, and they will that's also true. bend for you. Yeah, and, and that's an excellent and, play. No matter what company you're dealing with, right. no matter what business they're in, if you're not happy with the customer service you're getting, hang up and try again. Right. There's a very strong likelihood you'll end up in a different call center and get somebody more cooperative. And, and the you, strength, the you, ultimate strength, would have been if you had called and said, "I'm thinking about switching." away that's mm-hmm. when they really they really seduce you 
you. Well, but here's your second best play is saying that you've never had at the end before. of the day. I say, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull out and then I uh, pull out <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day. I'm going to pull off of this service. You were Catholic for many years. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to I, I hope I don't have a problem with the other companies. Well, it doesn't matter that we're the same company. Did you know that? I did not I know that. No See, I idea. didn't know that. Yeah. The Direct TV is owned by Hughes, I, I thought. And, Still? And although they share the same programming with the Verizon. They said that they're under the same umbrella. Hmm. That's I'll what they for, said. Look it up. Look Verizon Direct TV up and see what the what the situation yeah, is. That would yeah, explain well, why they have the same channel numbers. I am yeah. skeptical. Well, they don't have the same channel numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they that don't, same they programming. Have, they have the same. Pro- they have a lot of the same could it programming. Be, could it be that Verizon, because they have the FiOS technology for delivery, they just lease the programming? I have no idea. I Does don't it know. open that's, up into a larger that's source? I don't know, Rob. You're asking case. me detailed questions that are completely irrelevant okay. to this discussion. So I don't know, and I don't care. All I care about is getting my DirecTV back, and I want to get my Nesson so I can watch my goddamn Red Sox. That's the only when thing I want. When does it start? When do you have it? Uh, they're coming in tomorrow. Excellent. They're yeah. coming in tomorrow, and uh, all the other stuff is going to be gone. But we're going to keep uh, this. and Well, we're going to keep it in the event that they are not going to try to uh, extort me right. for dropping. Because all I'm doing now is I'm going to drop one mm-hmm. service from this bundle. But this, it's just, you've got this amazing onslaught of, of uh, advertising, right. of marketing. And, you know, they're, they're fighting with each other. And, you know, they're doing their best to knock off Dish Network and these other alternatives you have. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, these companies are just too God damn big. Yeah, they don't care and, about the service and they, they don't provide. give a damn. No. And it's frustrating and it really gets you tired. They are at least married. Direct TV and They're Verizon married. have teamed up to bring you the best in TV entertainment, broadband, and telecommunications. It's the bundling that brings them together. Yes. I, I think they're they're sort of separate companies, but there they're is an, there together. is an unholy alliance between them. Right. Yeah. Right. That's so no so that's good. that's where we are. And they don't help you do anything. That, they, that's frustrating. They want to get you right. in. They want to yeah. get their their you know installers out here and put your stuff in, but at the same time, I'm waiting until that guy comes tomorrow before I call the other people because I want to have television. And it is extraordinarily hard just to speak to a living person. It's just we went uh, through that. You know, it's really that part was probably not as difficult as I thought it would be. To take some time, right? But actually, you know, if once again, if you're saying you're new, you're going to be new to this world. Yes, you wanna, they uh, want you in. It's just uh, I was so burned out uh, at the end of the day. I was just completely burned out that uh, today. I pay a lot of my bills online, Mm -hmm. including the one that keeps the lights on in this house. Mm -hmm. And my bank sent me a notification that they had refused the payment that I'd set online. And so uh, I just, uh, after my weekend, I'm like, I have to go through a system again. And I got this person, and they said, oh, yeah, you uh, you paid it under the same thing that you use for your taxes, and that's why they sent it back. And it was like, bing, bang, my mistake. Okay, but still. Everything was easy, Mm -hmm. but it really is. I hope that technology, because we're it's here to stay, I hope technology allows us to really get a lot more accomplished by uh, <laughs> just clicking a few buttons so you don't have to deal right. with these people that probably hate their jobs uh, as much as I hate talking to them. Yeah. So it was, uh, but I still will tell you, I went from, let me see, uh, I ended up at the end of the day mm-hmm. with all said and done paying $40 more a month than what they had quoted me, and they all lie. They all lie so about it. Was, it. You're saying and it they, w- what they lie about primarily, you know, it all it all seems to always mm-hmm. end up with HBO. Oh, well, you have all these movie channels. Yeah, I have all the movie channels except the ones that everybody watches. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's where you know you want to know why they've got those great movies and great miniseries on HBO. Well, there's a reason for it. Well, paying for it. You're paying for it. Lots right. of great, like lots of great made-for-television movies on the Encore Network. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you want to catch up on reruns of The Rifleman. So the ah. the number one <laughs> feedback I got from listeners over the weekend uh, was they all suck, which mm-hmm. is true. Where, that's where I've ended up. I think they all suck. And the other one was why don't you do what Oscar does? Get off the grid. Which is use, you know, really just tell them all to go to hell Mm -hmm. and end up doing that. And when the technology becomes a little more user friendly and I'm able to do that, I pray that that day comes sooner than later. I could never do it. As no, far as just use your you computer? Know what? And, and the same thing for me is people that say, screw it, I'm not going to have a landline anymore. How rarely do I get a phone call on my landline that isn't like a telemarketer? So I don't have a landline. But oh, I, right. I can't yeah. not have a landline well, in my why? house. Because, well, you don't, you would have a wooden telephone if you wanted it. <laughs> well, I mean, you a don't, beautiful you fear wooden change, telephone. You fear change more than anybody I've ever met. But on all, yeah. on all cases, I communicate with people on my cell phone, on my iPhone. Right. But the whole notion of not having the backup plan, of having a landline. 
feels like a lifeline. It does feel like a lifeline. I don't have one down in FLA, and I, I'm, I'm soon not to have one here if they piss me off today. So wow. We'll see. I, I'd be fine with my cell phone. Cutting mm. the cord is uh, some. It's not for everybody. Uh, if you can do it, you have to really look at the way you live your life because it's perfect for myself and my girlfriend because we're never home. Right. Uh, and, we, Very it, true. and we don't get a chance to watch. Though, I had my brother-in-law in this weekend, and we hung out all Sunday, and I felt like... You for, had nothing? I had nothing for him. Uh, <laughs> I said, do you, want to, do you want to watch something on Netflix? And he's like, eh. And then I was yeah. like, uh, let's, we watched the Ohio State-Iowa State game. And then when that was over, he's like, well, what do you want to do now? I'm like, eh, you want to play Xbox? Like, I, was, I didn't <laughs> have nothing. What yeah, happens yeah, is yeah. when you don't have actual television brought in, used to be antenna, now by satellite uh, or by right. cable, you're, de- you're devoid of passive entertainment. Right. Because yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, going yeah, to like yeah. j- you know lock in onto Netflix and say, I'm going to put this movie on in the it's background. Right. I was going to do one I'm not going to do from. Apple TV in the background. It, and men are are by nature. I mean, just sitting there and going click, 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 yes. click, click. That's the pleasure. He picked of up it. my remote to do that. I said, "You might want to use a keyboard." Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your sir. You have you have nothing. You have like, like have, basic cable. I have no. I don't have basic. I don't have. Not I have that. nothing. I have over the air TV. You have over the air TV. Yes. that's amazing. Uh-huh. Do you yeah. have an antenna that you like serves your building? I, I have a digital antenna right. that right. I bought that's hooked up right. And on both my TVs. How is your reception on, say, uh, the local uh, oh, the affiliates? Well, he's 10 miles. He's not even 10 yeah. miles away from the, the tower. It's actually yeah. a better reception because it's not compressed. That's right. right. It's That's crystal beautiful. clear. The yeah. best picture beautiful. and sound comes from an over-the-air I antenna. The I used to do it in McLean. Yeah. In super high def. Do. Wait, we're all talking at the same time, guys. So uh, when you when you watch television, yeah. do you have any kind of recording capability in your I house? do because it's hooked up. I actually, a Mac mm-hmm. runs my TV. A Mac computer okay. runs my TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do the Mac TV? Yeah, so I have a DVR set up through the Mac. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, so you're really but, using the technology. But I can only I can only DVR three things. Oh, no. ABC, CBS, or NBC, or maybe Channel 20 if I want to. Ion. Yeah. But yeah, all I on the WB. Yeah. But all with a good CW. picture. They're great, but this is the thing. I really, when I sat there with my brother-in-law who's accomplished and probably doesn't think twice about his cable bill, God bless him. He's, he's a doctor on many levels. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I said to him. It must be good. I said. Is this weird for you? Because after the third, hey, use the keyboard, don't reach for the remote. Right. He's like, so why did you stop uh, using cable? And I said, well, you know, I left a job and I was just trying to cut bills. I never really watched it. And I said, but now, probably three or four months into it, I kind of miss just stumbling on to old school and just letting right. it play, you know? Right. That's, yeah. the whole, that's the whole joy of it. It's hard yes. to let go. Yeah. And you have Passive to, sort of, you have to yeah. weigh what that, uh, you know, what that is well, worth to you, ultimately. It's fine when it's just my girl and I, but if somebody comes over, you feel like it's like a... a bad host. If, if, like you're, a bad if, host. if you're in a one-man ass-kicking competition, like there's no, there's no, you can't win. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what I do. I mean, I really feel that I've had television with all these different installers here down for a certain period of time and uh you know at one point the internet was down and the tv was down and i was in the house i'm like <laughs> pacing what do i do yeah, my right, electronics right. are not yeah. here yeah i just think that uh there's so many ways that these these companies could could just do a, a better job really i, oh, I have sure. a friend his name schmosker fantana <laughs> and met him. the way he watches cnn and uh his other favorite cable channels yeah he he said he watches it through his parents uh login for the online services <laughs> so schmosker doesn't miss out on the world. He just misses out on the big bill and convenience. Right. <laughs> it's you do that, Schmosker. You can do I that. Do, I don't. Schmosker. Can you do that from your home? Schmosker does it from his home. From where you live. So, allegedly. So you just you log in. I've never in. seen the setup. You log in with them? <laughs> I, 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 he, he says he's done he, it through He his. logs in with he them? He logs in with them. <laughs> So how does that work? So he he gets on this thing called the internet, and then he logs in through their uh, through their entertainment uh, portal, and he watches all their movie channels. But it takes it takes about five minutes to set up, so Schmosker doesn't do it all the time. So oh, sure. when Schmosker does this, I'm very curious about this because yes. now you're tapping into your primary way of Sh- watching. I told cable Schmosker this I mean, may Schmosker's not be legal. Primary yes. way Play of along. watching cable. Does Schmosker can he use? Uh, does he have Apple TV? Schmosker has Apple. TV. Can Schmosker use this login to project the stuff onto a real television screen? Well, because Schmosker has a computer set up to his real television screen. He right. doesn't have to use Apple TV. Oh, so it's a hard... Yes. Oh, okay. Well, he mm-hmm. must be a very bright fella. So when you say <laughs> Schmosker, <laughs> Schmosker <laughs> taps in... <laughs> Schmosker taps into what? There's a website. Yeah, that, I mean, that your there's parents something called use? HBO Go. My parents, no, his parents. Oh, my that, parents are all oh, foreigners. Yeah. All they watch is Univision. They don't have that. Oh, uh, HBO so, Go. So he and watches Max Go, and, and he watches Showtime. Showtime. Hold, on. Hold on. So HBO Go is for 
a uh, a regular subscriber yeah, of HBO. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. Yes. Well, I don't know if that works that way. He's told me to say, look, that seems really complicated. I don't have that much time. So you actually go through their account. And he that's how said he to... does. He actually he said he does. When Schmosker takes five minutes and log on and watches CNN, does does Schmosker get fussy because of the the delay? Or no, it looks. Uh, he, I mean, I'm sorry. He said it looks like <laughs> sex, and I said, hey, that's my saying. Why don't you? Uh, find hey, you your know own, what? It was weird. He talks sayings. like you, and your name's Ron. Yeah. So when he does this, is there a delay of some kind? No, yeah, it was like a three point turnaround. Yeah, no, like, no, 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 and delay. it's also illegal. So no there, delay. there is no delay, <laughs> and you can watch. Uh, I told him I was like, "Look, someone's gonna bust." And Schmosker can watch. Uh, he can watch HBO like on demand. Too, Schmosker correct? said the only the only reason he feels okay about this is because he feels like he's owed reparations. <laughs> Well, well, for all the years that, that he's paid for for his services and never right. really used them. Right. Well, but, but Schmosker's a member of the family that does pay for it and does subscribe yeah, to yeah. it. I so agree, Buzz. That seems yeah. okay to me. Yeah. Schmosker is using yeah. his mom. And he's Schmosker to relax. His mom never watches it. So, But she pays for it. Yeah, she pays for one so channel. So Schmosker's Dearly. not ripping anybody off? Well, that's no. what I said. I'm all for Schmosker. Yeah. I don't think we should throw him it's, in jail. It's paid for you. And, and, and the HBO Go. Did you ask Schmosker? It is just on demand, right? It's not like a live feed of what's on HBO. It's not a live feed. Right. It's just on demand for most of their stuff. Well, almost so all of it. Smoshker stuff. could watch Girls. So I'll yes, watch Girls yes. the day after it comes out. Mm -hmm. Or That's he no will. Problem. Oh, I mean, he will. Oh, that's, That's no problem. Oh, Gee, I get confused. Well, oh, if you're at his house. Hey, the yeah. one last thing I want to say about Company A when I was <laughs> dealing with them, Company A had told me uh, after I was done and I got the half off mm -hmm. that it would be on in 15 minutes. Yeah. And when it wasn't on in 15 minutes, I called back and that guy said 12 hours. Oh. And that's when the real F word Lie. started to... That's uh, such lies. You know, that's, when I, that's when I got on my Facebook page and uh, mm. decided to say, you that they they're all a holes. I saw that, yeah, and they they all suck. And so the uh, the other sucky company is coming back tomorrow, but it's the sucky company that I was with before, mm -hmm. and I'm probably going to end up at the end of the day paying just a tiny little bit more. Mm, yeah. I hope not for more speed and the same television. And uh, we'll have this for right. uh, for that. And the uh, the only uh, the, the only is loser on... is going to be Company C, and I really mean <laughs> Company C. <laughs> the, the thing is still on your I'm roof. I'm casting right? them out. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. The thing is, dot com. The thing is still on your roof. Though right, the yeah, the yeah. So that's that'll be easy fix. Yeah. So, uh, but now when it rains, I won't be able to see programming again. <laughs> yeah. So or if we get snow in the middle of April. All right. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get to this because I want to thank Colonel Michael Colburn and uh, everyone associated with the uh, President's Own, the Marine Band. Uh, what a, a wonderful day it was yesterday. Really, really, really terrific. Uh, just a great time. A good time was had by all. I uh, performed at the Schlesinger Center in Alexandria, Virginia, with uh, the United States Marine Band. We recreated the Dream Hour, which is an old radio play. Thing I wanted to tell you. Yeah, did you wear your tux? No. Wore a, uh, wore a, a uh, sport coat and a tie and awesome. great, great flannels. Bet That's you look it. good. No. I, I don't, did. I don't do tuxes like you do. I, it's, no you, one, love, you love wearing no a tuxedo. I, I, Thank you, Buzz. <laughs> it do, needed to be said. I, I would have looked ridiculous if I wore a tux. I mean, they were in their dress uniforms. Uh -huh. and you, look, anytime you're standing next to Marines, uh -huh. especially the Marine band, yeah. with those uniforms, you know, anything you wear, you're going to look like you're in a burlap sack. Casual, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so I came out and I uh, did my thing, but they had a setup for the original Dream Hour recordings with the old time radio, which Beautiful. you would have loved yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. And then they had the scripts, the original scripts oh, from cool. 19. 51 with the uh, handwriting of the individual who had done the broadcast oh, wow. in 1951. Wow. Would you like to know who did it? I would. Mac McGarry. Did he really? really? Mac McGarry did Still it back alive in 1951. And wow. That's it was amazing. Awesome. And uh, so it was a blast to do it. I have one big screw up that because the colonel is so good. You dropped your pants. There was one. <laughs> I'm sitting out. I'm sitting out on the stage, right in front of the band. Mm -hmm. Like I'm in front of the clarinet section. They've got an old CBS uh, radio box set up, yeah, and they've got so the old cool. microphone that's there next to the real microphone. Right. So it looks like right. I'm really broadcasting right. the Dream Hour. Oh, that's cool. But the lights are up, and it's like it didn't go to black. I'm sitting on the stage, and I'm completely there. Spiders. So it's a question. Of, I do my little announcement, and then you know you better not scratch anything or pick anything, <laughs> right? Because they're staring at you They're the whole watched, time. Yeah. And the only screw up I had is there was a piece that I introduced that had three parts, and the uh, and the next thing I was going to do was going to be a uh, Marine PSA. So right, I, and I by that time I got real confident and I was really into the whole broadcast thing, and I'm supposed to start this uh, thing with throughout the years the marine corps right. and so that's how i'm supposed to do it well i didn't realize that they'd only played one of the pieces oh. and the audience uh, applaud and you hear me without the microphone on going 
throughout the years. Oh, so because oh. they killed your and mic. It, and it goes, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry. <laughs> and they, they never can, mind. They can, so that was my massive screw up. And it's really because as soon as that happens, you know. He goes on and he's conducting, so uh, right. they're moving on. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm up on the stage just going. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> was it well attended? Stupid. Yes, it was. That's awesome. And it was a. <laughs> and it was really. Uh, it, it was an interesting <laughs> evening. It was, it was uh, live. It was very, very interesting. As they always say, your error was probably much more apparent to you than anyone yeah. else. They presented me, and this is the funniest part. I uh, had the distinct honor of uh, dining with Colonel Colburn and uh, and his wife. Awesome. Last evening. Evening as Very well, nice. and they could not be more charming, funny, great, nice people. Oh, that's nice. Prior to the concert, the colonel had presented me with a beautiful. Hey, Josh, do me a favor. I think it's in the kitchen. I want to show everybody on the show. It's a uh, picture in front of the White House with the Marine Band. Wow! And he wow. presented that to me, and uh, and they gave they brought Carla up on the stage just before the crowd came in. Well, right. that's and, just good show business. And they gave, and I said yes. I didn't, I, and I looked at. I made the Marine Band laugh when I said, "Yep, she's not rented." <laughs> and uh, and they gave me a bulldog uh, that was uh, the. Marine, uh, yeah. that's oh, yeah. the Marine mascot in fatigues, uh, stuffed animal for, for oh, the baby. Oh, that's and awesome. And then a, a little tiny t shirt for the baby that says, I'm here all week. Oh, oh that's and, very cool. And so, uh, the, the, uh, the colonel just could not have been nicer. How classy is that? And I, I'm, but I'm such a uh, nasty, greedy person. Yes. The oh. colonel is taking me out to dinner, and in the car, and as I'm driving over, I'm like, man, I, I love that. I love that uh, picture that I got. But boy, you know what I like? I love coins. Yeah. You know, I love my military coins. Right. I, yeah. I collect coins, mm -hmm. and if you give me a military coin from a branch of the service, mm -hmm. it's the greatest thing you can. You give have me. a case for it. So yeah. this is how important it is to me, and this is the most embarrassing moment I've ever had. <laughs> First of all, there's the picture of oh, the. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. That's Very the nice. uh, Marine Band with Knock a wonderful, out. wonderful inscription by uh, Colonel Colburn down here. And so on the on the way over, this is a little window into my greedy soul. Yes. I'm not greedy when it comes to like money, really. I'm not. I'm greedy when it comes to like swag, though, yeah. from my old DJ you days. Like it. So I say to Carla, <laughs> I say on the way over, okay, at dinner, why don't you just say to me. Oh, uh, no, you've crafted no, something. I, I'm going to. The setup. I'm going to thank him for the picture. Oh, no. And then when I thank him, you say, you can put that right over your military coin collection. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, because okay, i got to okay. go more with this. Okay, I thought you were doing so, that. Sorry. So you put it right over your military coin collection. She's like, okay. I said, all right, good. That'll be it. So we're talking, and we have this great time. Really, like, better time than I... I they're nice people. Better they, than you they, expect. They like the show, so I knew we were going to have fun. But they're just terrific human beings you know when you when you meet people who mm -hmm. you just are instant friends it happens. Mm -hmm. you know i could see them anywhere and i and i, I just like when i met oscar his <laughs> his wife would be charming just like that. so <laughs> with that said though uh, oscar is pretty nice though. With, with that said <laughs> towards the end of the night carla's reacting the same way to these people were really relaxed and kind of like you know when you meet people that are old right. friends and this goes under the category of, God, I wish Carla was drinking. I mean, not <laughs> yeah. now with the pregnancy, no, but, the, but I miss her in the day. She was yeah. much better at being devious right. and dishonest <laughs> when she was drinking. So I look over and I said, uh, man, I just wanted, at the end of the night, I said, I really want to thank you. I really want to thank you for this wonderful picture of the White House. It was uh -huh. beautiful. Yeah, really? And I said, uh, don't you like that, Carla? And I look at her like this and she said, yeah. And Carla goes, yeah, that'll go uh, really. That that we'll put that right over your military coin collection. I'm like, oh, yes, perfect, perfect. Uh -huh. well done. He's like, oh, the coin. I I have those. I should have given. And I'm going perfect, yeah, perfect. Yeah. I knew he was that kind well of guy. Done. It's great. And then Carla, not missing a beat, goes, I can't do this. Oh no, oh, no! I can't. I can't do this. Oh no, oh, my I can't God. do this. I have to tell you that I'm not going. Tell him what, what, honey? What are you doing? I have to tell check, Carla. Check. Completely outs you, rats me wow. out. Oh God, you were so yeah. close. Really extreme. I get flushed. I, bet. I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> My face gets red, and I said, "You know what?" Uh, she said, "I've got to tell him." I said, "You started it. Go ahead." Yeah. Hey, listen. I love these people. I don't care. Tell about our little lie. And it was funny. Thank yeah. God. But uh, Carla, if you ever do that to me again, really? I'll you. Wow. Uh, it was crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, we're so close to doing it just right. I know. So Very that's close. it. I wanted to get that out of there. But thank you. And uh, hey, man, everybody should have the chance hey, to... Man. 
perform with these guys gorgeous. once in their life. When do you get a, the coin? It, it was a blast. Uh, I think when he gets my address. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited nice. about that. Did and you send for all the other military people out there? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do you that. Send the yes, I am. Send me a coin. I'd love one. 6 a.m. this morning, you sent the address. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Anyway, uh, thanks to Colonel Colburn awesome. and the United States Marine Band, the president's own, baby. That's it. Greatest musicians in America up there. We'll take a break. Come back with Rob's Magic Audio Vault right after this. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by RC Kitchens. The best. They want you to know at RC Kitchens, don't remodel your kitchen with cheesy, mass-produced cabinets. Get a kitchen custom-made by artists using real wood and quality materials. And the good news is the prices aren't going to blow you away. Right. Contact Rory Callahan at RC Kitchens to get Mercedes quality at Prius prices. Uh, I had a great conversation with Rory. Rory wants to help our listeners out, and he wants to make sure that when you go in and get an estimate from RC Kitchens, you're not going to be duped on this thing. You're going to get a real estimate, and they're going to tell you when the job will be completed. I've had issues with remodeling because I live in a 1903 Victorian. Right. I can val- I value that almost as much as anything. People that are square and honest with you That's right. Just about, tell the truth. W- about when the project is going to be started right. and when it's going to be finished. Estimates from RC Kitchens are guaranteed accurate for both the price and and the timetable. Help him out. He's a good friend of the show. Yeah. Rory Callahan at RC Kitchens. They serve the D.C. area all the way to the beaches of Delmarva. And if you're outside the D.C. area, RC Kitchens can still help you. Contact Rory and his crew today, 301-537-3515 or at rckitchens.com. You call a guy like this at 301-537-3515. You won't believe what it'll do yeah. for this show as well. Sure. So thank you very much to Rory at RC Kitchens. Let's get right to it. Audio of all time, my fault. My flapping gums were running a little bit it's late. It's fine, today. Mike, because you know it's on everyone's mind. On. March Madness at its best. And a sad, sad Saturday. So sorry, Rob. It was uh, It was not just a loss, Mike. It was an ugly loss for VCU. Loss for yeah, I wrote, uh, so long, VCU, in parentheses. What are Rob's real emotions? Well, I was pleased that I don't have to watch basketball anymore. <laughs> I, knew it. I know you're being honest. But it was disappointing that really by halfway through the first half of the game, they weren't in it. The final score was 78-53 as number four seeded Michigan finished off number five. V, and uh, the game was just ugly. They were never in it. C, and uh, I, I appreciate it. FGCU. VCU. VCU. Go. Rams. Go. It was FGCU. FGCU. GCU? Florida Gulf Coast University, baby. Oh, yeah. I thought but why are you saying, oh, I thought you were saying F. No. Them. No, it's Florida. Yeah, it is. Well, we, we brought them the luck because they're in Fort Myers. FGCU. That's right. Right shocking. in the backyard down there. So Speaking we brought of them. shocking. Yeah. Yeah. You're throwing it. <laughs> Speaking of shocking. I had to turn my head. Hey, <laughs> Speaking of shocking, uh, the Shockers, the Wichita State University Shockers, did very well, uh, beating Gonzaga, advancing to the next round. Kansas is all over the tournament. The Jayhawks did the same from KU. They are still in the pink. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a lousy (laughs) loss. (laughs) How do you think they got the name? Lousy loss, and it was the worst loss uh, that Shaka had all season. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully next year. Thank you, guys. They were uh, a game. First game was a lot of fun. Word is that you're going to lose your coach, apparently. Well, well you, he can't maybe, goodbye in his looks forever. Maybe UCLA. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 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 That's what happens. I mean, we had uh, Gary Williams at AU back yeah. in the day, and uh, he went on to bigger and better. Well, this day. is really good news. I mean, Wichita needs the good news. Kansas needs the good news. It's good for, as you know, the, the finances of the school, and maybe bring students into the state who will vote differently than the rest of the state. Yeah, maybe if they can win voting. some basketball right. games, the state will get brighter. <laughs> maybe so. I'm right. hoping this doesn't uh, uh, hamper the leading industry in Richmond, which, of course, is crack. <laughs> 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 crack and cigarettes. Crack and cigarettes. They love them all. And, of course, Mike, the Sour Spice Factory. You know, people, we drive by and we know because we're in the area. But, really, that is where Philip Morris, the cig- cigarette right. manufacturer, yeah, if you don't take is the, headquarters. If you don't take the bypass, you can smell it. And depending on how the wind was in Richmond when I was there, yeah. the place either smelled like cigarettes or vanilla. Because the Sour Spice Factory was still making spices there. Spice. And uh, vanilla was great. Cigarettes, not so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are a little cramped for time. Do you want a musical audio vault or a spoken word audio spoken vault? Spoken word. Okay, so tomorrow I'll bring you the worst Beatles covers ever made. Some of them will really delight you. And tomorrow I want to talk to you about uh, ear wrestling and earworms. Earworms and wrestling, some yeah. of them are related. Mike, yeah. uh, did you watch the... No, it's not actual worms. Oh. They're songs that get caught in your oh, head, okay. despite the fact you don't want and them I wanna, to And I want to... We're going to do this on tomorrow's show, but I'll mm-hmm. tell you why. It's just the worst term I've ever heard for something. 
earworm. Ear, 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 you hate it. Doesn't make any sense. Does it make you think of uh, the Wrath of Khan it's when they just, put the little guy in? Yeah, a, yeah, was it Kirk that got it, it in his head? Those were earwigs. 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 Ew. Yeah. Earwigs. Ew. Did you watch any of? I know you were between providers. Did you able to watch any of the Arnold Palmer Invitational yesterday? <laughs> uh, a little bit, maybe on Saturday. I did think. you see Sergio yesterday? Uh, up in the tree. I did yes. not. I saw the video of it. It was yeah. great. And instead of taking a penalty mm. shot, he actually climbed a tree. Oh, I heard about and this. hit a shot one handed out of the tree. He <laughs> double bogeyed the hole, and I think eventually had to drop out of the tournament. Not tree related. He had a shoulder injury, but he, but or an I, arm injury. But I don't think it was tree related. No. But anyway, so this <laughs> is this is him doing it. The uh, the announcers very rarely get to comment on something as entertaining as this during a golf match. How can the ball stay there? That's what he has to be at. Yeah! Yeah, yes. <laughs> Hit it out of the tree. How what about a- that? <laughs> I think he even took some of the bark off. <laughs> oh, please don't jump. Now the, the escape. Shot. Oh, yeah. The escape. 9.8 on the dismount. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I like him. That's, That's awesome. awesome. It was a bark shot. Um, I don't know how it is that Jennifer Love Hewitt keeps getting hotter. You know what she likes to wear when she goes into the bathtub? What's that? She likes to wear a tiara. Really? She does. Jennifer Love Sometimes, Hewitt. yes. Because I like to feel fancy. I like to feel Doesn't like it's feel my fancy. relaxation time. It's uh-huh. I'll have a little glass of wine, and I'll put on my tiara, and I will have my bath time, and I feel a little bit like yeah. royalty. How would you like to come home to find Jennifer Love Hewitt in your bathtub drinking wine and wearing a crown? Surrounded be, by candles. Be fine with me, but she is a little nuts. That's all right. She but, likes oh, sparkly. Perfect. Isn't she the yeah. one that first yes, decorated down there? Mm-hmm. Someone sent me a picture of someone who had actually done that right. in, on Facebook. I forget the name of the gentleman who did it. And he said, now I have to go and bathe because I feel creepy. And while I really whoa, whoa, enjoyed whoa, whoa. it. Slow, slow down. Somebody sent you what? A picture of the vajayjay? Of, of, a, of a vajazzled lady part. You made uh-huh. it sound like they had done it. No, and no, sent no. you a picture no. of themselves. It and then you mentioned a, a guy's <laughs> name and it started to freak me <laughs> no, out. You mustn't be you freaked were surprised. out. Right. It was a picture that he sent that he had found on the internet and he said, now I have to go bathe because I feel creepy. I said, thank you very much for sending it. I too have to bathe now. Not to say I didn't enjoy it. Did you see all the, uh, you know, like the picture? Did it show all the parts? <laughs> yeah, it was very close up. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah. I still contend that she should probably put a tiara on and jump on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice way to button that up plenty of room at my house <laughs> that's uh, funny. oh did you see the fact that tommy chong no you're not, you're not going to care for that this is what i want to close with jim carrey i didn't realize he had any political feelings at all mm-hmm. he has released a song on itunes that is an anti-gun song okay and i really like the take he did on it i don't think he's particularly great in movies but i know he's a very talented voice guy mm-hmm. here's his anti-gun song i don't even it's called cold dead hand it takes a cold dead hand to decide to pull the trigger it takes a cold dead heart and as near as i can figure with your cold dead aim you're trying to prove your d- is bigger but we know I love the style. I do too. Cold at hand, cold at hand, cold at hand, cold at hand. <laughs> mm. You're a big, big man with a little bit of glam, so you need something bigger just to fill your cold at hand. Excellent. So that's Jim Carrey. I, that very much surprised me. And that, that's Mike, great. is your Magic Audio Vault abbreviated for your Monday. Thank you, Rob. We'll take a break. Come back with Buzz and News. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. We're going to party like it's your birthday. We're going to sip a party like it's your birthday. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. I hope you're enjoying your bud day. We've got snow here in the Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, it may have belted by now, or certainly may have belted by the time you're downloading this program, or, belted. and certainly by the time you're listening on WTNT this evening, the snow will probably be gone and just completely eradicated by the rain. Are you ready to give us some dues, I Buzz? Sh- I sure am. Here's Buzz with the dues. Thank you, sir. Uh, we're brought to you today by the Mike O'Mara Show's Amazon page, and now you can save up to 70% on all jewelry just in time for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and graduations. If kicks are more your style, now save up to 60% on athletic shoes save money and support the show the banner at mikeomerashow.com takes you directly to your account at home school church or work shop through mikeomerashow.com slash amazon who's the guy that decided to call him kicks i like <laughs> sneakers it was easy <laughs> andy rooney i bet andy rooney called them kids it was easier to describe them Keds, sneakers. sneakers i never had sneakers when i grew up hard shoes <laughs> when i grew up no. we didn't have sneakers at all <laughs> they had bare feet and leather shoes made also, by the cobbler. <laughs> bring back Charles Osgood. I don't like that stain on CBS. Did Sunday they have night. him on again? Yes, it sucks. Lee Cowan? The, yeah. The guy with like the super high voice? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you know what I say? I quoted Oscar. I said, boo. I like boo. Buzz. <laughs> I like to hear the news. 
That's why I like Buzz. <laughs> well, thank you. Kindly old Buzz Burbank, give us the news. The late Buzz. Andy Rooney. Thank you. Uh, you already know the effect health care costs have on your family budget. And you already know that prescription drugs are a big part of that expense. It may or may not surprise you to know that the big pharmaceutical companies are paying the smaller companies to delay putting generic versions on the market. That's a big deal to you because generics can save you up to 90% over the cost of brand name drugs. Doesn't surprise me one bit. You you carve through these companies and you're going to find Mm -hmm. people and practices Mm -hmm. that are unmistakably evil. Cable providers. Nasty people. uh, Internet and communication providers will look like angels compared to this. Yeah, very bad people that do very bad things for profit that uh, they don't want you to know about. I mean, that's the simple This is why the pill people send those red hot supermodel like drug reps to your doctors that give them free pens and prescription pads that are pre printed with a singular prescription. Exactly. Because they want Mm -hmm. to make sure everybody's on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Today, the government so many people hate and think there's too much of. Today, the government's uh, Food and Drug Administration will try to convince the U.S. Supreme Court to make Big Farm stop this practice of pay for delay. Hope they win. And you know I don't like to alarm anyone. I know. That's not what you do, Buzz. No, but a vial containing a rare virus has gone missing from a biotech lab in Galveston, Texas. Oh, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was a pop rock. <laughs> you have to put it back, Charlie. Thank you. It's so close to the truth. Mm-hmm. Scientists say the virus actually poses no appreciable risk to the public health, but it can cause hemorrhagic fever. The vial was apparently destroyed during a lab cleanup, so officials do not suspect foul play. Still, it makes a point about the need for better security and safety measures at labs throughout the country that do handle biohazards. I hate a hemorrhagic fever. It's terrible. It's wouldn't the like worst. It. A hemorrhagic yeah. fever is kind of like where you start bleeding from the nose. Yeah, hence the word hemorrhagic. That's yes, scary. That's exactly. like the Ebola. That's a hemorrhagic yeah. disease, yeah. It's right? It's very rare, and uh, you know there are a lot of reasons why we probably won't get it, but still, guys, a little more careful, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as we pay more attention to the meteors that fall to earth we're being warned that funding's being cut for the programs that allow for the early detection of objects from space a trio of experts expressed this concern to the house science committee on friday saying that although the chances of a damaging hit are small the consequences would in fact be enormous we have a clip of that trio right now let's hear the three scientists hello 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 Hello. is the t nearly on nearly on key mike that was funny (laughs) Is the TSA decision to let small knives back on airplanes a good idea? Great idea. The lawmakers from both parties who don't think so have banded together to override the TSA's decision to let knives return. They say the TSA didn't bother to ask pilots or flight attendants what they think before making that decision. <laughs> just, That's true, by the so way. It's so stupid. But they're still... What are they thinking? The little bottles of goo you exactly. still can't bring on, right? TSA yeah. says the real threat these days is chemical. Your shoes and shampoos, not small knives. Okay. Box oh, cutters. Sharp. Babe. Box cutters, which were used <laughs> in the 9-11 attack, would still be banned. Flight attendants also oppose the return of knives on planes. So do I. But you need to know that the TSA's decision allows the return not just of little knives, but hockey sticks, ski poles, golf clubs, and all the other objects that flight attendants don't want to have to deal Pool with. Pool cues are and, allowed now, too. Yes, yes. not yes. necessarily for security reasons. And the miniature novelty a comical baseball bats. Oh, they're great. I love those. <laughs> they saved my marriage. That's funny. <laughs> what? Uh, the gun debate continued over the weekend with anti-gun leader Michael Bloomberg squaring off against the NRA's Wayne LaPierre on Meet the Press. LaPierre made a statement that bears examination criticizing Bloomberg's ad campaign, which pushes for better background checks. LaPierre argued you, you can't buy a change in gun laws something the nra has been doing with millions of dollars for decades now i the, don't that's the bubble i don't like you wayne finally <laughs> finally tales from the home office in opalaca florida the mayor has asked citizens to remove their underwear from a <laughs> from a tall highway guardrail near an apartment complex people have apparently been hanging their laundry including underwear on the guardrail to dry nice <laughs> save 50 cents another sinkhole appeared in florida not far from where one swallowed a man alive several weeks ago uh, this time no real damage mm. or humans devoured by the hole good and although this next story <clears throat> excuse me happened in texas it it sounds like a florida story so we included it a woman in liberty texas didn't like a snake she saw out Inside her house, so she doused it with gasoline and set it on fire. The snake was still flaming when it slithered into her house, burning her house to the ground. Sad. Oh my God. It's terrible, terribly sad. I'm Buzz Burbank <laughs> on the Mike O'Mara show. 
Mike, are you going to be able to move on? I know you're sadder than anybody. <laughs> that's a classic Burbank isn't kicker. It, isn't it? <laughs> that is the kind I love. <laughs> that's a good one for Monday. How unfortunate. That's it. <laughs> we have to get out of here. We must. Snake ran in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Our show is brought to you by Encore Insurance Damn Services. <laughs> the people who bring you this show every weeknight on WTNT 102.9. Yes. Thank you, Encore. We really, really do appreciate it. Call for a free quote. Do it today or visit smartterm.com. That's S-M-A-R-T-T-E-R-M.com or call them at 866-347-5748. We'll be back tomorrow with Rob and wrestling and earworms and all that Ew. other crap. Ew. See you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. <laughs>